Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Field of Glory 2, Mithridates. Uh, this is the Mithridatic campaign, and uh, as you may recall from the end of last video, we finally, finally overcame stage 5, and now we're in stage 6, where uh, the Romans are attacking again, and Lucullus, our nemesis, has pursued me into Armenia. Uh, so let's just hop right into it. This is going to be some pretty interesting, um, I think, first set of engagements, because as I saw from my defeats and then my final victory in the uh, fifth battle, is that the, the terrain really made a huge difference. Um, so let's, let's get going. So now it's Armenia versus the Romans, rather than Pontus before. So let's take a look. So we've got a big mountain here. Um, a lot of rough ground. Okay. And then rough ground, rough ground. Severely disorders. Cataphracts, heavy chariots, scythe. I don't know why I said scythe. Scythe chariots, not scythians. Uh, elephants, heavy foot. So the good news is Romans are going to be pretty disordered. Um, and our pike phalanx is back. All right, well, let's autofill this and kind of see where that leaves us. Um, so it's kind of unfortunate that I have all these irregular foot, to be honest. Um, I don't really want any of them. It's strange, like, I don't, I don't know, I don't agree with this um, allocation of troops. I know light foots are super cheap. Um, but with 214, I'd much rather have uh, a couple pike phalanx and a imitation legionnaire. And let's uh, auto deploy that. There we go. Um, in fact, I'm going to do even another one of those guys. Great. Um, and so now it's time to assess. So we're against the Romans. So we know that these types of horse archers are, uh, well, not entirely garbage, but they're pretty hot garbage. Um, and then we also have, let's see, I think we have way too many um, light troops. Like why? Nine archers. I, I don't understand the rationale behind that. I'll take four, that's, that's fine. Um, so we, we have four cataphracts. As far as I can tell. Ooh, actually, we've got a lot of cataphracts. I should just read here. Um, let me actually turn up the brightness. There we go. That's probably much easier to see for everybody. Um, so we have a lot of cataphracts, but I want more legionnaires now. I can't build any more legionnaires, um, so let's auto deploy these guys. And then we do still have a regular foot because they're going to make us have them. Um, And this is where I think, okay, let's go in and put in another one of those and then get a irregular foot in. Okay, so I feel much better about this uh, force selection. So I still have quite a few uh, horse archers, quite a few archers, because there's really no way around it. Um, but basically what I'm doing is I'm able to mass uh, a lot of troops here. And I don't why are, This is going to be an interesting game, I can tell you already. Um, so I'm putting the irregular foot here in the rough ground. And thankfully, um, see, these guys are moderately disordered because it's rough ground here. So I think what I'm actually going to do is swap this around, put my phalanx right in my center so they can just kind of hang tight and not really do any, much of anything. Um, and in fact, Bagrades, I don't want my general here. Um, hmm. Well, let me get back to that. Yeah. Okay, um, so these mast archers were, I'd much rather have these mast archers here and here. Cataphracts can get pushed up together. And then let's keep uh, Tigranes here. 
I guess if Tigranes is the commander in chief, I don't really care if. Yeah, that's fine. I, I don't really care if he's not. Um, if this guy's here, so that's that's fine. And let's add this general here and put him on this flank because I think they're gonna hold fine over here. I think. Um, let's keep some mass archers there. And then where's my other mass archer? Let's put him back here. Okay. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I haven't really played around with this level A. I played it once before, and I I did manage to win first try, but we'll see. Now let's see veteran room veteran. Okay. So the good thing is. I only see one veteran Roman legionnaires, and that's Lucullus. Whereas with the other battle, there were plenty more veteran legionnaires. Um, they have quite a few light troops, a couple of siege uh, artillery engines, rather, uh, and some elephants. So I think I'll be able, to, with my mass troops here, uh, to do some pretty serious damage right away, which is excellent because that's what I want. Okay, so I just shot that because, you know, why not? Um, but now let's move everybody forward here. And the reason I did that is because, uh, first I screwed up, but, you know, what can you do? Um, but second, because it doesn't really hurt me per se, uh, because what I decided is that I want to make sure that I'm in front of this rough ground, meaning that when the Romans attack, I'll be ahead of it, and I can use my archers here to route this whole thing, because really what I need to do, you know, I'm not going to beat Lucullus in one-on-one -on -one combat with any of my troops, but he has two of his generals massed here, and then the rest are here, and if I can get them kind of to move into this area and then attack with my cataphracts, then I can kind of thread the needle between all this rough terrain, but we'll see how it actually goes. That's just kind of giving you a sense of where my my head's at. All right, let's move forward. Horse archer to horse archer. I actually haven't played this game since the last video was published uh, because I did publish on the exact same uh, day that I got this going. Oh my god. Uh, and hopefully that made it pretty obvious <laughs> why. So one thing that's a bummer is with my side move that didn't quite go as, as planned. Um, my line's certainly uglier, that's for sure. But we can still move these archers in mass, so I will do that. And my hope is that I'll just be able to wipe these guys up pretty quick. Um, yeah, it still covers most everybody. And then I am going to move these cataphracts over here. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's end the turn. That was not a good first turn, but... I think I can correct the issues that I created with my own stupid first turn. Um, and that's part of the problem here. On the plus side, that that guy's done. Um, yeah. I'll have a bunch of cataphracts and be able just to wipe these guys out real quick. And remember, if I'm able to... You know, this is getting way too cocky for my own experience here, but if I'm able to wipe out 25% of the Romans before they're able to do anything, um, or I'm sorry, if I'm able to wipe out 40% of them before they're able to do anything, then, you know, I win. And I'm going to be honest with you, I do like my odds. These archers are proving to be a little more difficult because they've won every single one of the tests. 
but they have lost about 100 men, uh, so I, I don't like their odds long term. All right, so first and foremost, let's fix this line. I'm going to scoot him up here. Okay, good. So let's see first. This is as far as I can move this unit, so I don't really want to go much further. Especially knowing what I know about uh, Lucullus. Gonna come through there. That's gonna be a weakness that I need to deal with. Huh. So this is open ground. I actually overextended what I wanted to do. I did not want to be this far up. It's hard, because I did want to be this far up here. Um, I think I did screw up, actually, now that I think about it. I definitely screwed up uh, from the get-go. I do want to be one un one over for everybody, um, because I don't. there's no reason why these imitation legionnaires should be in that, whereas this is open ground. Um, so I'll have to address that ASAP. Um, now this fragmented guy, just shoot them. Again, I'm just kind of moving around the cataphracts. Um, there's no real rush in anything. But I am pretty annoyed at myself again about this whole mix-up. Uh, so I'll have to figure out what my plan is there. Because there's a chance that the Romans are going to just focus from this line over and not actually go into the rough terrain. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. They they might opt that, or they might opt to attack through that way because my layout was screwed up enough where the array of my troops makes it pretty clear where their weaknesses are because they're massing people here. So we'll see. My overconfidence is my surest weakness. But, I mean, so far, so far so good, so we'll see. Okay. Well, those archers decided that rather than face off, they just wanted to attack me. So, I mean, that's, that's their problem. I suppose. I think I'll be able to disrupt these guys right here. Okay, well, I can fragment them, and then I think my Master Archers. Master Archers are pretty good. I'm, I've forgotten how good they are. And I'm honestly not sure what I'm doing, what my plan is with those guys. They're not really solving anything. And so the next question is, what do I want to do? Do I want to pull everybody back? Um, and I'm going to say yes, because I'm far enough away where I don't believe a cohesion test is occurring. Um, and you might say, Fuzz, you're crazy. Why Why are you doing that? Uh, to which I'd say, well, why not? Okay, and so now that these horses are all pretty, pretty well um, called for, Basically what I'm trying to do is um, limit their ability to evade. And 
mean, obviously they're going to be able to evade, but at a certain point, if I can loop around past all these troops, then, you know, my job's done anyway. Um, so there's a whole bunch of cavalry nonsense here, but I can't wait for what the, uh, Gretitius just stands. Alright, well, let's see where this gets us. You know, one thing I didn't anticipate, oh good, they just lost one of their, uh, one of their two shots, I believed. I believe they have two shots, uh, with that, uh, pylum. Um, so Lucullus is going straight for my Master Archers, which isn't really a good strategy on my end. Uh, it would have been kind of nice to just lock him in place with a Phalanx. But I think what I need to do now is just focus on the Elephant on that flank. And maybe that's why the AI is attacking me so much. They know that if I have a bunch of missile troops open, they're charging their elephant right towards it. Uh, so we'll see. The good news is the uh, cavalry general is currently disabled. Or not disabled, disordered. I hope to disable him soon. But that's probably getting ahead of myself some. Alright, so let's just keep on killing these guys. Uh, it was confirmed, I mentioned this in another video I had, uh, but it was confirmed that it is impossible to kill a general with a, uh, a missile shot, which is unfortunate. Um, however, what was also confirmed is that it's possible to uh, cause disruption to elephants without actually killing any of them, um, and the reason being that you know, elephants are tough, and the cohesion check was necessary, per the, the forms at least, uh, just to make sure. So you can see that um, they've lost six elephants, but they haven't had a cohesion test, but they could, they could have lost um, just a couple or none at all, and it could be at the same place. Okay, so that didn't really go well for me, um, and I am going to scoot him back because I'd rather have a cohesion test fail now. Okay, health firm, good. Great, great. And I should really get these master archers from out of there. All right, good, they actually locked in combat. So again, what I'm doing is a little more aggressive than I usually do if you kind of recall my playing style from previous videos, uh, but essentially I just want to take care of these guys. I want to wipe them out, um, and this is my best strategy for doing it. I'll, I'll be able to pin and flank around once I wipe out these guys. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. And then let's just hold. Let's let's see what happens. So the Cullis is probably going to hit the Masked Archers. Um, oh darn, there was an actual impact. Didn't really want that to happen. Um, but I think there's an opportunity here where if I'm able to split up these troops somewhat, uh, then I'll be able to actually physically separate them and flank them, because that's really the only way I'm going to win. They have all these troops, there's this big gap here. Um, and if I'm not able to exploit that gap, where it, which is kind of a full charge, I have a break between charges, where if I do something, then I'm good. But if I don't, then I don't. Um, and you know what's great? They attacked me from the rough terrain here, this cavalry, which means that all of a sudden, I have the high ground. Don't know why uh, this is going so poorly. But anyway, let's focus on what we can do. First of all, let's shoot some elephants. I didn't see any javelin men, which is disappointing, because um, I don't think archers are as effective 
And slingers certainly don't seem to be as effective. But I sure would like elephants to be less steady. I mean, we're, we've taken them down quite a bit. I'm not really sure what more I can do. And I guess might as well... Alright, so that's good news. We'll probably route them next turn as long as I don't destroy myself. Um, I'm going to try to get ahead of the problem and move my archers out of the way here uh, so people can get pushed back. And, um, you know, my problem is, as always, it behooves me not to charge people. Uh, because if I do charge them, then that's just one more turn that I have to be fighting a, a losing battle. Um, and so this is one where chances are I'm going to lose this impact because it's rough terrain, but I will win a larger campaign. So that's actually about as good as you could hope for. Great news there. And this is one, since it's open terrain, where immediately they're disrupted, and I think I'll be able to follow up. Yeah, great. Um, so that's kind of what the difference is, and you can see the, the benefits and drawbacks from each of those. Um, I'll try to hold off for a little bit here. And it is getting a little crowded, but what can you do? And yeah, so this is a general versus cataphracts, and I'm going to win that battle probably. The odds are good. Now I just have to figure out what I want to do here, um, because I'm going to lose this battle, and Lucullus is not chasing. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I can't turn because of the zone of control. I can't do a lot of stuff. He is on open ground, which I screwed up then. Hmm. But if they get pushed back, then all of a sudden it's a problem. So. I'm filled with indecision, and so I will do nothing. And I forgot to fight that combat, and oh my gosh. I'm not gonna say I was handed a good hand. Well, that's not really a phrase, but... I think I was handed a pretty good opportunity, and I have royally screwed it up. And uh, I'm disappointed in myself most of all. And because of my indecision, I also lost the ability to flank any of these guys in a quick manner. On the plus side, I did draw off some of the worst legions in the back, the slack ones and the raw ones. Um, but it's anyone's guess if I'm able to do anything about that long term. Held firm, huh? Okay, everybody's held firm. That's fine. It's not like it's the end of the world either right now. Uh, we're still in pretty good shape. I just have to, to hold. And this elephant routing would be a really great change of uh, fortune. Change of fortune right there. See? Okay, there we go. But yet everybody was held firm. That's what I say to that. <laughs> well, on the plus side, that elephant's dead, and these guys are definitely routed. Great. Okay. And then since these archers are disrupted, they really only have one enemy that they should follow, and that's the fragmented. Okay. Now let's sort out this problem. I really thought they would route after that. Guess not. Well, another turn, and I think those are all gone. Um, this is not a battle I want to fight, because terrain is very unfavorable. Um, and likewise... That's too bad. Um, that's, that's really too bad. So let's try to bypass them. Let's see what they're able to do with that. Um, and then let's swing this light horse archer here. 
just to cause some consternation. And so I use the Master Archers to attack these raw legionnaires just because uh, I'm, I'm curious what will happen. Um, well, we'll see. Um, and then last but not least, let's move these units here and turn them that way. Um, so my plan is they move slowly across this terrain and hopefully I can at least flank them. And eventually this guy's going to get pushed back and then I can flank these legions. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what that means long term. I am going to push uh, Tigranu's back because he can still reach pretty much everybody. We just don't, excuse me, want him to be forced out somewhere. Alright, and that looks pretty good. Let's leave well enough alone here. Uh, but since these are in open terrain, mm, that's tempting. But they haven't moved. I already have. I don't think I'll catch them. And the Thracians are steady here, so... I'm doing it. I did it. Can you believe it? Took some guts, but I did it. Uh, because that'll allow me to flank them, I hope. So let's, let's fight these battles. 32%. That's pretty much the best you could hope for, and they need to stay put. So as much as I would love to attack this legion right now, um, that's foolish, because if they win that for some reason and push them back, then all of a sudden this phalanx would be in this place. And uh, Bagratati, son of Dara, I don't know who he is, but I'm going to need his help. And now in these combats, for me, the best that can happen is I get pushed back. Great. Um, because all of a sudden the legions are disordered. And so now my question is... Ooh, well, I'll think about that a little more. Get pushed back, friends. Thank you. Um, Alright, so that first kind of that went pretty well. This also went pretty well. Um, so kind of what I'm wrestling with is if I turn this unit and attack next turn, that is great. However, there's a chance that they get fragmented even further. Ooh. You can kind of see where my head's at. If the Romans attack, my units get pushed back to here then this unit turning to flank, it's not going to do anything. But it's also, they're not going to hold, so... Well, end turn. Let's see what happens. Elephants are gone. And the cataphracts, uh... basically did the only thing they could right there. All right, and great news there. Combat held. That was not ideal, um, but now everybody is disordered, and I'd much rather have that than anything else. All right, however, the trap that I am hoping to spring here in the rough ground is well underway. Oh my God, slingers, give me a break. And uh, <laughs> it seems like the uh, heavy artillery is picking on my disrupted archers. And this is what I'm worried about. If I'm not able to end these combats, then, you know, where do I go? Okay, auto breaks. And it looks like these are going to be my, my troops. Good, those broke too. Looks like this cavalry is going to be the ones that take out the heavy artillery and swing back. Hopefully that'll be quicker. Alright, Lucullus is getting pretty locked in there. Maybe I can start messing with him. Uh, so let's start with this. Routed. Perfect. Alright, so that's, that's good. 
unequivocally good. Now, what should I do? I can't kill the general with these units, um, but they are at full strength, and I have massed units here. So let's just try to take them out. You know, even a hundred is a significant amount. Yes, yeah, so now they're, they're down a, a decent amount from 748 to 690. You know, it could be better, but I'll allow it. And then let's start swinging these units over here. All right, and so now comes time for my magnum opus. Okay, now let's move these up here. And you can see where I'm doing, what I'm doing with this. I'm gonna, he can't reach me in one turn. Let's see, masked archers. Hmm. Would be a real shame if someone were to uh, flank you. That's next turn. Stay tuned. Um, and then let's move here. It's not going to be a flank attack for some inexplicable reason, probably because they're masked archers and have probably less than zero armor on them. Um, so these units are clear to do whatever they want. So let's, um, let's make this combat a little easier for ourselves. Let's scoot you back. Oh, come on, Zorag. Okay, so now he's stuck hanging out. They're going to win the charge, but they... I'm going to move this unit right... Actually, I'm going to keep him right there. Um, and this guy is basically a no-man's land, so I'm going to get him out of there. Okay, so next up... Here's this. Um, push back. Well, great. Maybe I can do a dual flanking maneuver there. That would be really beneficial to my long-term uh, survival. All right, Thracians. Now the goal here is to survive long enough, and pushing them back would be great because that really limits um, their ability to inflict damage for a little bit. Um, and Kissag, which is a great name, is actually doing a really good job on this flank. I didn't expect this line to hold for that long. Um, and doubly beneficially, these guys are... everybody's disordered, but they were pushed back without being disrupted. Um, and so now this is the part that I'm nervous about. They're gonna get fragmented or they're gonna get pushed back. They are. All right. It looks like King Tig uh, can't even talk. King Tigranes is going to have to go into battle uh, because I don't really have a choice. And if they route, then Tinker. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, well, you know, you get the guy's name. I don't know why that very simple Armenian name is proving to be so difficult right now. Excuse me. Just had a sip of some water. I'm drinking something called Hint Blood Orange, and it says it's water infused with blood orange, born in San Francisco, and as far as I can tell, it's lightly flavored water that is probably overpriced, um, and yet I'd recommend it, so I don't know, something worked on me. However, you know it works pretty great too, just regular water, I'm a big fan of that. Alright, please hold, nope, that is a bummer. Well, both of my grand plans just failed on account of units fragmenting. Or routing. Or routing. I don't think I'm going to be able to, to do much. I mean, I'm still winning, some would say. Um, but not enough. Definitely not enough. But it is what it is. Let's get going.
All right, first up, deal with some of these. Zero. Only three, come on. I mean, I'm not sure what I'm expecting when you're shooting from that far away and you're shooting into armored troops. Um, so let's let's see what happens if I hit the raw ones. Nine, it's an improvement. Not much of one. I think I still was a little too heavy on the archers. Although, to be honest, I'm not sure how many more I could have removed because uh, the game was pretty set on this being a certain... Uh, that the makeup of your troops had to be a certain level. And uh, to be honest, I'm not really sure why. Um, so that, that was beneficial at least. I just felt I should do that. Um, I'm fighting them because I want to see what condition they're in. And actually can flank, so that's good. Wow, amazing. Okay, well that... <laughs> That went extraordinarily well. And now I can do my flank charge here. Oh goodness, that's a route. <laughs> that was probably the most polite, excited I think I've ever been. <laughs> goodness, we have defeated the enemy. Oh goodness. <laughs> um, I'll have to figure out what I do with this guy. We'll, we'll come back to you. Um, we will want to swing these guys around. Okay. Well, this lake has proven to be more annoying to me than to anybody else, as far as I can tell. Um, but the defeat of those troops has been a much welcomed uh, change. Well, we'll see what he decides to do, because if this guy decides to attack here, then I can... I think I can figure it out where I can finagle some sort of flank victory. Uh, it's just anyone's guess if I'm actually able to win on this side. Um, so I guess first and foremost, you are the least crappy. Um, so let's start with you, and then just kind of work our way down into uh, increasingly worse off units. Please don't wrap. Please don't wrap. Okay, good. And I do think what I need to do is something around this line. Because if I were this legionnaire, I would turn straight around and attack these guys in the rear. And the only reason they won't be able to do that is if these folks show up. So we'll see. Um, hopefully Grati Gratidius will die soon. All right, and I'm still just a little SOL. I want them to attack me, but I also don't think I can really wait. Um, so if they don't attack, I'm just gonna charge. Okay, good. I'm just kind of confused why the Master Archers thought that, you know what, I will hold firm after being charged by a Roman Legion, and not. What if I run back a couple tiles and then kill 50 of them with another... Well, actually, that explained why the Romans would attack. It just doesn't explain why the, the Archers would let them. <laughs> and then my, my poor little group of disrupted Archers is still getting whammied by a bunch of uh, flying rocks. Okay, so a couple grand plans have remained fairly grand. A couple pertinent rallies. I mean, to be honest though, I think I should be prepared at any given moment for this entire wing to just disappear. And so it's more of how long can they hold and how long could I expect them to not die. Um, thankfully, those archers just killed 40. What? That's crazy. Good job. So I'm just going to focus on these guys, because I feel like if a combat goes poorly, 
um, then they die. And they're already getting cohesion tests. Alright, so I'll keep that going next turn. Um, but I do want these light horse arches to feel a little fear of God. Okay. Next up. Some fear of God into artillery. And uh, let's turn you around. And you know it. Flank charge. Been waiting for that for a while. Fragmented. Perfect. So that's what's nice. You can kind of run circles around these guys. Um, and I am going to sit there. Yeah, well, let me come back to that, actually. Um, okay, so like I said, their their plan of attacking from the rear is now resolved. And unfortunately, I haven't been able to break these guys. I was hoping the Disordered Legion would. Um, so that's unfortunate. Um, held firm, great. I, there's a chance I could get these guys. I really should have done this before, I don't know. Okay, so I'm in a charge. I don't really don't have a choice. Um, I have to destroy this side of the wing because this side's not going to hold. Um, next up, flank charge doesn't matter because cohesion won't drop. You know, that is unfortunate. Um... So what do I do? What do I do here? Oh, let's annoy these guys. Okay, so they fell back, but it doesn't matter. Or does it? All right, so we're gonna move the general there. Um, I'm actually going to move this unit here, uh, because if they attack from this side, I can flank them in some capacity. Um, likewise, I'm holding firm there. Vitellius knows that I have him kind of trapped there. And this is a very, very fortuitous occasion. Um, I'm not going to move anything else. These, uh, I should really learn how to pronounce that because I've seen that word for like 12 years, 15 years. Thuriofuroi. Thuriofuroi? Unfortunately, I'm not very good at uh, my Greek or Roman, as you might have might have learned. Um, all right, now let's just keep this up and hope for the best. Oh, hello. Oh no. Alright, Kissag is done. Rest in peace, buddy. Um, these guys are not going to win any combat, so they're going to get pushed back and or destroyed. Okay, just push back. I'll take it. And then, unfortunately, these, yeah, they're going to get routed as well. Um, and so that means that all of a sudden these guys are on open ground and not disordered, and King Tigranes might be in some, some trouble. But, what can you do? Let's see what happens. And so almost immediately, I think we've seen the um, collapse of this flank, as we expected. Wow, these master archers, hold them firm. Probably because they have almost 750. So we were flank attacked, but they were flank attacked by slingers. Um, so if anything, the slingers should be embarrassed. Oh good, someone broke. Someone was fragmented. And someone else broke. Excellent news. Fragmented, good. Well, not all is lost. And honestly, if the Masked Archers want to keep on fighting and keep on pushing back, the more stretched the Roman lines get, the happier I will be. Okay. 
I didn't really want any dispersals because you never know. All right, so let's rescue these guys. Um, let's just charge straight into them. I really thought there'd be a flank attack, but for some reason they scooted up there. But that also solved the problem that I was trying to, to uh, handle, so. So, I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that. Now these, I believe, were the raw legionnaires that were giving me trouble, um, but it could be those guys. In fact, it was probably those guys, so I just wasted some shots. Um, but if they wanna just keep on falling victim, then that's fine. Um, so let's let's do this smart. First of all, these units. They already have a 70% advantage, and straight away they're disrupted. And that is great. So the cataphracts are just going to move right past these guys and attack the other one. Now these cataphracts are using the roadway here. And um, again, this is all bad terrain, so I just want to try to use it to flank. Now these units are all of a sudden just able to do whatever they please, which is great news. Um, let's just shoot these guys. Oh, they are already... <laughs> whoops. Alright. And the first routed legion. Excellent. And all of a sudden, these guys are routed. Unexpected, but good. Um, Let's see if I can't push these guys back further. That was about as uh, successful of, of something as you could hope for. Okay, good. Please don't get fragmented, just hold. Wow, that's better. And then let's see how long my poor master archers can handle. Just, you know what, get pushed back. Get pushed back. Ah, no. I was really hoping. Okay, so this is kind of what I have to figure out right here. Because I may need to kill these guys. And so let's do it. Let's kill them. Now that didn't work out, but I will draw them further apart. Okay, let's end turn. I think I'm in a pretty good spot. Good. Fragment and pushback. Fragment and pushback. No, nope, just one. Alright, I'm gonna move the chair, so hold on. Pardon me. Okay. See, they flank attack, but it doesn't matter because no one's engaged. Um, and my zone of control was blocking these guys, so. Okay. Alright, uh, I could... Thank you, I was about to say, I could go for a handy rally real quick. Alright, great. That's even better. Is this it? Held firm and push back. Oh my gosh. We should get a, a statue of masked archers. Because I might single-handedly... Like, this victory, which seems likely, but you never know. But this victory may be predicated on Masked Archers not routing. I mean, if you conveniently ignore the fact that Masked Archers routing kind of got this whole thing started in the first place, but, you know, neither here nor there. Um, these cataphracts are going to get pulled off because I need to clean up these guys to make sure nothing bad happens. I'm going to move these cataphracts around. Um, let's charge here. Okay, well, that was still a defeat for them. And I'm just gonna keep on shooting them. And I would have loved to attack, but alas. Although I really should have. I, I, I gotta learn. I really gotta learn. Um, these masked archers, doesn't hurt to just shoot some slack legions, I suppose. Hopefully that general will die soon, because if he does, that solves some more problems. Fragmented. 
routed. Heck yeah. So these guys are all routed, and now I have to decide what I want to do with the time that is given to me. And that's going to be turning these guys about face um, and moving them into attack. This also could be the last time that I get a chance to have the masked archers doing their thing. Um, I'm actually very close to victory, but some routes will not go my way. I can almost guarantee it. And so we're going to have to um, wait for another turn, unfortunately. And one thing that else that I'm trying to do is to get these horde archers kind of pushed back. I don't want these ro roaming around. And I think if I can entrap them, that's an easy, easy, um, well, I guess the cataphracts are going to have to fight them. Anyway, um, but I think that's an easy couple points as we saw last time. Okay, not a good, not a good, uh, result there. Rest in peace, Master Archers. You lost half of your men. But, I still haven't lost 25 of them. And, uh, let's do this. Because I chased those archers, they will soon be trapped and they're already disrupted, so next turn, that'll take care of them. Shoot, that's what I was worried about. A flank attack? Well, a flank attack what? Seriously? <laughs> Ugh. Well, the flank attacks seem to let the general be more, uh... More vulnerable. That's too bad. I had been hoping that I would get through this round unscathed. Thankfully they broke. And come on, flank attack. Let's hope we can get some cataphracts flank attacking. Disrupted, good. Rallied even better. I don't accident. I might have won, you guys. I think this is it. Unless I lose too many troops. But I might have won. Let's just hope for no more routes. Okay, and that's really positive. Uh, uh, now I need to have a 25% margin. Shoot. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's move right here. And before I decide where I want to move, let's see how these combats go. Well, I can already tell you I'd much rather deal with these guys. And now that these are disrupted, that, that makes their position all the less tenable. Or all the more untenable. So let's charge here. Hopefully we can just get rid of them. Still disrupted, huh? Interesting. All right, continue to move. Let's just stay smart. Don't let the, the near victory um, cloud my judgment. Hey, what do you know? Well, that general is gone now. That's great. Okay. So attacking is stupid because they will lose, but let's give this a shot. Please hold. No, fell back. Come on. Come on, Zagreg, don't screw this up. Well, Zagreg didn't really screw it up. Good. So let's turn around and get ready to fight these guys. And then the masked archers. Hmm. Let's just move these guys into here and start killing some people. And so basically what I'm doing here is I'm trying to continue the route for everybody. Um, 
in a way that gets everybody to just completely disperse. Um, and I will charge here. Great. Okay, um, so I might lose this combat, but I don't really care. So right now, if the turn were to end, I would win. But um, I have to survive another uh, change between turns, and I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Because again, I, they've lost more than 40%, and the gap is, um, is over 25%. So basically, you want to make sure you've got a quarter more of your army than they do, and that's, that's kind of where it stands. Good news is a whole bunch of units just dispersed. And I'm pretty much guaranteed a couple more routes next turn. It's just a question of if this line holds. Um, or if, you know, something incredibly goofy gets screwed up uh, in some of this chaos that is whatever was the right flank and even the center. Um, okay, good. So they broke. So the more breaking, the better. Let's just put it that way. Because the more breaking, the less this line collapsing um, hurts us. Okay. I mean, none of this has been bad so far. This might... yeah. Okay, they're gone. Well, they fought well. And I'd like to give them thanks. I kind of want one more turn at it just because I'm having a good time, you know? Oh, oh well. Hey, what do you know? We won. That was great. Uh, that was excellent. So let's uh, inspect this. It was a glorious victory. Um, so again, if you're playing another game, not a campaign battle, where ostensibly there's a historical story um, going on, you can actually continue to fight these sorts of things. Like in the epic battles, you can just fight and fight. And if, if it's hard fought and you just want to destroy destroy and destroy and destroy. You can totally do that. Um, but obviously the key to victory were my cataphracts. I was able to tie up half the line, destroy them, uh, and then a big turning point was my ability to send these phalanxes and just have them sit down and wait. Um, I didn't use the rough ground as well as I should have, and I had a lot of useless archers, but you know what? We're learning. Uh, and if there's one thing I've learned from these, it's that you should never, ever, ever bring elephants or siege engines to an, uh, an infantry battle. Because what's the point? They're a total waste of time. They're just free points for us to destroy. All right, so we are stage seven. I'd like to end the video here. I just want to make a couple of, of uh, points. Number one, Lakala still survives, and I didn't get to kill him. However, it looks like, based on the blurb here, Lucullus's troops are a mutiny, and Gnaeus Pompeius Magnus has been sent to to replace him. So, looks like Lucullus was defeated, and that, that makes me feel good. So, thank you so much for watching. When we come back, we will fight and hopefully succeed at the final stage of the Mythodates of Pontus campaign. Have a great day. Bye.